Welcome back to Golden Ticket Fight Promotion 21 from Fight 12 of the evening here. It's a lightweight contest between Oscar Lang in the blue corner with the white shorts with the black trim. And he's going to be taking on Keen Kelly in the red corner with the black and grey shorts. It's going to be a really interesting matchup here, two IMAF, experienced IMAF competitors. Keen competed in the European Championships back in September, as did Oscar as well. So they're four teammates. No, one's from Denmark, isn't he? He is indeed, yeah. Oscar Lang has made the trip over from, uh, from the Arto Suave team over in Denmark. Keen Kelly a bit closer to home at Mac Academy, down in Starbridge, I believe, with, uh, with Vaughan Lee and Paul Kelly there in his corner. I'm my head coaches. Absolutely. Not many better in the uh, in the country as well. And it's Key Kelly at the moment who's pressing his opponent up against the fence. You know, I researched one of Keen Kelly's uh, wins is from a doctor stoppage because the dude broke his foot uh, on the, the leg of Keen Kelly. Oh interesting. So we'll watch out for those uh, for him checking those kicks today, but at the moment, he's got to be more, uh, more cautious of the takedown of Oscar Lang, who gets himself into the half-guard position here. He's looking to land some ground and pound. Oscar, of course, we've seen uh, several times here at Golden Ticket Fight Promotions. Needs to posture up. Last lost. Oh, very sorry. sorry. sorry I was going to say, last lost a, a close decision to uh, Aaron Franz back at GTFP 19. Triangle set up. Yeah, Lang very active, off, uh, sorry, Keith Kelly uh, very active off his back here, looking for that triangle, and Oscar Lang has got to be very careful, trying to kind of shrug his way out there, as you can see. Yeah, he made a little bit of a mistake earlier, when he was um, in that half guard position, he didn't trap that knee that he had between his legs, he kind of let the guy bring it back out. So, he's slamming. A mistake quite a lot of people make, you should trap that knee to stop it from creating space and coming back through. I need some heavy knees to the uh, to the backside. <laughs> Giddy up. <laughs> and that can't be that can't be comfortable in the slightest. I mean, it's really good. It's po possibly yeah. I was gonna say it's possibly just angered uh, Keith Kelly even more, and he cinched that triangle he's on again. He's using his toes in the cage though. Yeah, he's using that for leverage. Then the referee hasn't seen it yet. Yeah, referee. Mm -hmm. he's just Taking them out now, just pressing them against the padding of the fence, and Oscar Lang gets himself out of that triangle position again. But Kelly's very active off his back here in this first round. Good little scramble up. Um. Yeah, and Keen looking for the takedown of his own here at the end of the first round. Boop. And a nice little left hand lands there to see the round out. Very pissed off. <laughs> These three three-minute rounds don't half seem to go quickly as I well. I mean, ridiculous. It feels like you you blink and you miss the action sometimes. And do you want to hear another joke? Absolutely. What's the best thing about Sweden? What's the best thing about Sweden? I don't know, but the flag has a big plus. <laughs> I told you, comedian. <laughs> after maybe after the fighting career, maybe after you've won a few belts and. Made a bit of money in the uh, in the fighting career, maybe stand-up comedy. I'm going to be retired, obese, in a wheelchair, and taking all the money from the government for disabilities. <laughs> well, there's the plan. There's there's no comedy uh, comedy involved in that yet, but don't rule it out with these jokes that we've heard so far this <laughs> evening. <laughs> I feel sorry for me, guys. <laughs> Back to the action here at Golden Ticket Fight Promotion 21, and we're in this. £155 lightweight matchup between Keen Kelly in the black shorts and Oscar Lang in the white shorts. 
Interested to see whether Oscar Lang shoots that takedown again. Obviously, he nearly got caught in a triangle on a couple of occasions in the first round, so might be a little bit more cautious going into the second round and might want to keep things standing a bit more, but Keen looks so very calm. Uh, absolutely yeah, not, just ignored good. everything I everything I said and just <laughs> shot for that. Looking for that lockdown there. Yeah, shot for that takedown and straight into the half-guard position. Keen, once again, though, very active, getting onto that hip. But... And looking Turn for the sweep there. Way. Yeah, he looked, looked like he was looking to uh, to kind of just strengthen, out strengthen his opponent and yeah. kind of get the sweep there, but the Oscar Lang was wise to it, but oh, looking, for for, looking for the arm now yeah. this time. I feel like Oscar needs to like posture up a little bit better before like trying to do this, this passing. Like, put his hands a little bit lower on the abdomen. Yeah, could it be frustrating in this top position when you're kind of Oscar Lang and you, you you obviously want to posture up and either land strikes or pass to get into a more advantageous position, but then you just can't, your opponent's throwing up submissions constantly and you just, you can't do what basically what you want to do in that position. Well, How being it be? held here, like, by the head, it's very hard. It's, like, hard to window up your head out. Staying in the closed guard and escaping the closed guard is really hard. And if they're very active off the back, then you've obviously got a peak quite flat so it is hard to posture up just in case you get your arms caught or snapped up into a triangle so yeah it is frustrating yeah look to posture up again there but Let's see here now we've got the the right knee trapped he needs to keep that trapped in order to pass like he has but now he needs to keep it there he can't let the guy have it back okay looking for a reversal there and turn things around and put oscar on his back but oscar's wise to it See how he's let his leg, he let his leg come out, and he's trapped his knee over the top of his knee, and like trap it in like a sandwich. Yeah, he's got that like, one butterfly in there, he's peeing on the bottom. Yeah. And he's kind of at the moment looks like he's just kind of looking to lock down and yes. stop Oscar Lang from uh, from posturing up. But be interested to see if he looks to kind of sweep or anything. But he's looking to kind of book his way over, but he's kind of he caused himself a bit more trouble than he was uh, looking for there because he's found himself. At the bottom of the mount position here and technical mount sort of situation if he turns on his side. And this is a position that Lang will really want to rain down some heavy ground and pound. And Oscar's got that body triangle on and off. Like to keep him pinned into place. And he's looking. A good body triangle as well. Oh my god. The yeah, intensity very, on it. Very tight, yeah. We haven't seen much of that today. I mean the, the, the few occasions that we have seen Guys on the back, it's tends to have just had the hooks in, but Oscar loses his position right at the end there. But again, another round where he was on top for the vast majority of the uh, of the action. I'm just looking at the uh, the body language of the corner of uh, of Keen Kelly here. This looks pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, it's just the um, it was just the timing of the takedown from Oscar Lange. Just. Ducked out of the way, that big right hand from uh, from Kelly and shot for the takedown and and that's basically where they've ended up for the rest of the round. How do you see get, uh, round three going? Well, it's going to be interesting because if you, I think Oscar wants to get the fight to the mat by hook or by crook. And Keane, I think, looks a bit more comfortable and confident. Uh, in the stand-up exchanges, yeah. but in the first round he threw up obviously the triangle attempts. We didn't really see many submission attempts in the second round. Oscar was sticking to him very tightly, chest to chest. Didn't really give him a chance to kind of throw up legs. I mean, Oscar wasn't particularly offensive when he was on top in that second round, but he, he nullified pretty much everything that Keane was doing. So, yeah, I expect to see more of the same from Oscar getting this fight to the mat and kind of just grinding it out from there. But well, Keane, I think, will want to kind of keep this uh, keep this fight standing and. See what he can do on the feet. Guys, it was a change of stances there for Keane. He lands the left hand. You caught it. <laughs> yeah. That Didn't one. really set up that takedown in, really in any way, shape, or form. We telegraphed that from quite a long way away. I mean, he needs to set that up with strikes, really. But, I mean, I said by hook or by crook, and he's got his opponent up against the fence, and he's working for that takedown. So you can, you can see that he obviously prefers the fight on the mat and he's happy to get it there by whichever means that he can. I mean, Keane will be desperate to keep this fight standing because especially after that second round where 
he didn't really get much offence off and he struggled to get back to his feet, he got mounted. Bit, bit of a mistake possibly there from, uh, from Oscar Lang, looking for the throw. He's kept the wizard but his hips were in. Oscar's defending him out with that leg but all he's really doing. See, uh, Matas Mazarowski, another uh, golden ticket fight promotions regular, just outside the cage there, barking instructions. I'm not sure whether he's uh, who he's trying to help out there, whether it's uh, it's Oscar Lang or or Key Kelly, but he's getting heavily invested in this fight. Expect to see him back in March. He told me earlier. But Oscar's really looking for this takedown again in the third round. Realizes he can't get it, so separates. And I think that's a really important thing to see, like. I once got told a bit of advice, if you can't get something after eight seconds, kind of give up on it. Um, and then just reshoot, reset something else. And that's worked perfectly here for Oscar Lange. He separated from that clinch position, stepped back into the centre, and then basically shot the takedown straight away, but had more success there. Got King Kelly down for momentarily, momentarily even though it was only 10 or 15 seconds, but oh, oh, like nearly that. lost that position again there, but just about managed to scramble his way on top and back into the mount right in front of us here in the commentary booth. Keen looking to book his way free, but... <laughs> He's like bucking and creating that space, but then he just goes flat again. He needs some buck and turn. Well, there you go, now create nothing. Don't turn all the way though. Yeah, just kind of gave up his back there and Lang is sticking to him like glue again, landing a couple of ground and pound shots a moment ago, but he's going to be happy to ride it out on the back here. But he just loses oh, the position right at the end there as Keane lands a couple of shots, but Time. that was a very gruelling and intense contest between these two, uh, two lightweights. There was a lot of grappling exchanges, a lot of grinding up against the fence, and Oscar Lang, especially rounds two and three, I would say had the more success, but obviously I'm not a judge, so... <laughs> Yeah, you can never predict what the judges Absolutely, might do. Absolutely, yeah, you never know what they're looking for. And he looks like he's, uh, I'm not sure if he's done something to his leg here as well. He's just speaking to the doctor, but he's a bit sheepish getting back to his feet. I don't know if he's, uh, he's picked up an injury in that fight, which has uh, which possibly hampered some of his movement. He's kind of feeling behind that right leg. Let's hope that's nothing, and it's just kind of a little knock rather than a... ACL or anything like that. To be fair, it might have been a bit of a hyperextension because on some of those leg kicks, but like the low leg kicks, I've done it myself, where you've not stepped out on the low kick, you kind of step forward and you're, you've extended your knee by connecting your knee rather than your shin. Um, it's just a bit of a bad habit. Um, and if they step forward, then that's going to likely happen. So. Yeah, he's definitely feeling that knee though, but we're going to hand this one back over to our MC in the cage to get the decision and make this one official.